Okay, I have a problem. Um, as of recording, I am months behind on my schedule. So, what do I do? Uh, I, I've, I've, I've got to get videos out faster so I can keep up with my schedule. Uh, I, I, the video, it's, it's late September and the video I was intending to release in July still isn't out yet. Um, I'm hoping I can catch up at some point soon. However, I need, I need to make some more low effort content. I need a build that will be quick. Wait a minute. Are you, are, you, are you happy now? <clears throat> this is an Airfix Quick Build. Um, specifically, the Airfix Quick Build Apache Attack Helicopter. No, no, I'm not going to make the obvious joke. No glue, no paint, just build. Six plus. Um, thank you to the person who got this for me. Um, uh, I, I, I received this for my birthday. I think it was the birthday that happened this year. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, uh, it's been in my stash a while, and now I'm finally going to build it. It comes with one flying hour, and uh, it's officially licensed by Boeing, so that's cool. And uh, yeah, from what I've seen, it's basically, you know, Lego, but who knows? I hope I am surprised. Anyway, how's we? No. God, why have I made these boxes so hard to open without wrecking them? <sighs> okay, inside you get an instruction manual, a sticker sheet, and uh, all of these uh, parts, and uh, nothing else. So, uh, let's this open. I said, let's crack this open. And, uh, oh, wow. Well. So, you got the propeller, which comes all in one part, and then the rest of the plane, which comes in a significant amount of parts. And also, a stand. So, that's cool. Uh, not sure if there's a specific scale of this. If I'd hazard a guess, it's probably about it's either 172 or 132, but um, enough dilly dallying. Uh, let's get one of the builds. I know, I know it's standard practice to sort your pieces out, but uh, I'm, I'm lazy, so I'm not going to do that. Oop. No. Uh... God, why do all these pieces look the same? They're all in one colour. Uh... Oh wait, it's this one. Uh, crap. Uh, never mind. All right. Uh, but those things, these are slightly bigger than normal Lego bricks and connections, and I presume that is because of copyright, which is fair. Like, I think you want to distinguish it just a little. I still can't find half the parts I need. Ah. Do these go together? Oh well, yeah, these go together. Um, where's the other one of these? See, what's nice is they sort of interlock with each other, because, because like, they're specialised for the kits, in, in the specific kits, um, they don't need to sort of 
like for that stand. So like, you know, these pieces, you know, they can fit together and sort of interlock. And I think that makes them probably a bit more secure. Anyway, uh, let's just continue without further interruption. I'm beginning to see the structure of it. There goes you know, this at the front. Uh, so this goes here. Yep. Flash here. Don't get that on real proper <laughs> Lego sets. Nah, I'm just, I'm just buffered. This part doesn't want to stay in very well. Given me two of the same part. Like, the, the this should be the this should be the flip version of the part, but they haven't given me that. They've they've given me two of the same part. I oh no! Uh. Oh well. Just building marches on. doesn't feel right putting stickers across two separate parts. You know, the, you know if there's no glue involved then why do you what what then like why do you include this caveat? Like you're not gonna want to pull them apart because there's there's stickers which are gonna get damaged. It's a massive demotivator, and this doesn't bloody conform to the surface. Well, it conforms to the surface, all right. Anyway, uh, that's all the decals. I'll just pop on this propeller, and oh, there we go. Perfect. 
well, not, not perfectly. You know what I mean. So, what do I think of this? Uh, well, it's... It's alright, it's got 37 parts, you can... I can definitely see a six-year-old enjoying this, but like... So, it comes with one spare part, this 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 red stud, which is like a, which you use as a retaining pin for this propeller. It's actually a really good propeller. Um, it's nice that it has play value to it. Like, you can swap out the armaments. Like, I think that's cool. This propeller doesn't move, though. There's also a gun which you can articulate, well, which you can articulate its position very slightly. Uh, other than that, what are the uh, what are the upsides? There isn't really any more. Like the big elephant in the room is <sighs> this. There is a part missing. It was. It was substituted for another one of the part that's supposed to go on the other side of the helicopter. So, there's just a chunk missing. Like, it's not like a non-noticeable chunk, it's a very noticeable chunk, so... Not proud of that. Um, also, these parts don't want to lock together, so... That's not good. And, um... What else? Part fits. Not great. There was a bit of flash. Which you don't see from Lego kits. The wheels aren't coloured. They're just moulded into the rest of the plane. So they're green instead of being black. And, you know, I think I just expected slightly more from this. Like, like with air, with normal airfix kits, you know, if you want to have exactly what's on the box, then you can normally you can normally create it. But you know, this it doesn't have black wheels like it shows here. It shows it shows these blurred. This, and you know, you can't do that. Um. Yeah. Overall. Um. You know, look, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. I'm looking at this from the perspective of a 16-year-old. I'm 10 years above the minimum age for this. Granted, FX kits are designed for people ages 8 and up, but like, you know, that, it, this is designed as an introduction to FX, and is it a good introduction? I don't know. Like, like it introduces me to the idea of model kits in general, but does it introduce me to Airfix specifically? And, you know, if we're talking introducing people to Airfix kits, do I have one on hand? No, I've run through all of them. You know, I think an Airfix starter set, this is a gift set, I know, I put all my boxes for starter sets in the attic, I don't have any anymore. Um, uh, um, yeah, like, you know, Having a simple airfix kit, like the airfix Supermarine Spitfire that they've got with the shadow stand and the simplified construction and the simplified decal scheme and the paints and glue already in the box, that's a good introduction to airfix. I feel like this is a redundant step. This is... This is basically... Helicopter parent airfix. It's airfix for parents who don't trust their child to not sniff the glue. And I mean, obviously it didn't work because I'm building airfix kits right now, and I love to sniff the glue like this. Fuck <coughs> So what's the verdict? Airfix Apache attack helicopter. Um, I I, I don't rate it. It's well, no, I do rate it. I rate it 5 out of 10. It's perfectly passable, but uh, the the wrong parts, not a good impression. Uh, the, the stickers, not decals in this case, uh, are fiddly and annoying. Uh, detail is lacking. 
which I suppose is to be expected, but still. And overall, nah. Damn, I guess. I guess we gotta identify something else to build. Oh fuck, I made the joke, didn't I?